Hey guys, it's just before noon on Wednesday, May 15th. Let's try to get a, a quick sports algorithm video in and um, I won't be talking too long because I may have to run. So, all right, let's uh, talk about hockey, basketball, and WNBA especially. Hockey, first of all, Boston stays alive. Good goaltending. Amazing game in uh, in Western Canada. Edmonton pulls it off late after getting it tied late. Vancouver does, but Edmonton and Calvin Picard, who probably will be going the rest of the series now after this big win, wins a game for Edmonton. Tonight, Algorithm does favor Dallas. They're up 3-1 in the series. Will they keep Colorado's offense at bay? We shall see. Ottinger has been playing well. Um, line's not great for a hockey game, but just fun game to watch. Let's go over to NBA. Timberwolves lose yesterday. Stinker. I had them. Uh, they lost. The Knicks do win with all these crazy injuries. I don't even know what to say about that series. Stinks that the Timberwolves were not in that game. That's a loss for the algorithm. And now the Nuggets could close out that series and it would beat the algorithm, who has significantly, semi-significantly thought that the Timberwolves as the underdog would take that series. So that's going to be interesting to see what happens there in game six and potentially game seven. Celtics play the Cavs tonight. Thunder play the Mavericks. We did catch the win of the Thunder at plus 102 last time on this day. We had the Thunder, and they managed winning uh, 194. Here they have a bad line today. Look how much ter look how much worse that line is at minus 175. So that's a bummer. That's They have the margin. We think they'll win. However, they also um, – you know, they also – Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second, but they um they uh the line is not good today, which makes me say that even though the margin is okay, it's not really a good bet because the line's bad. You're supposed to take them when they're 102, not when they're minus 175, because they don't win every game. The series is only three two. Do they close out the series here because they're up three two now? I don't know. I, I'm gonna stay away from it. Celtics all of a sudden are minus 1,100 again after just oscillating all over the place between minus 900, minus 300. Who knows what's going on? That sounds unbettable. Tough night for NBA when it comes to betting. That's all I can say. Just doesn't look like there's much there. WNBA. All righty. Here I'll spend a few minutes. WNBA happened yesterday. You, what you see here is the four games from opening night. They show three and one, but things that I said yesterday did not necessarily work out. Uh, things I said last week worked out great. I said last week, oh, the Lynx can definitely beat the Storm. Back when the Storm were plus 540 and the Storm were minus 600 and the Lynx were plus 540, everybody. And I was like, that line's ridiculous. Yeah, the Lynx won this game by 13 points. They were even plus... 300 on yesterday before the games. You could still get them at that. So I know the algorithm is saying they're going to win, but I just want to say that this margin is not that big. And the line was ridiculous was the thing. I was like, I don't know if they're going to win or not, but the line's crazy. So that was good. If you took the links, I somehow did not take the links because I didn't recommend it yesterday. Man, am I bad at, at instincts but anyway i didn't i took the fever instead because i'm like oh caitlin clark will, will produce do you know what caitlin clark, clark did they fed her the ball and she turned the ball over she had more turnovers and points in the first half she i mean she didn't handle the pressure well and i would argue she had the most pressure on her of any women's basketball player in history absolutely coming out of college and getting the most watch. And like, there's no doubt she had the most pressure on her. So how does she handle the pressure? The handle the pressure by getting probably double teamed and turning the ball over a lot is what happened. So this actually hurt the fever in this game and the fever who were only supposed to lose by four lose by 21 and it's not even close. So welcome to Connecticut is what the son said to Caitlin Clark. We now know that when we start getting real stats in here, that her projected rating, which shows up in here, her projected rating on uh, the fever, which before the season started, came in at a 59, is going to be much lower when we actually import her stats uh, starting like tomorrow or the, the day after. I think it's tomorrow. 
How many teams are there? I thought there was more than 10 teams. Are there 10 teams? 12 teams. Yeah, eight and then four, 12. All the teams are going to have played as of tonight, and we'll talk about tonight's games in a second, but let's finish off with yesterday. So point being, Indiana underperformed, and that's because, yeah, Caitlin Clark turned the ball over. So there was a reason, and you went with my instinct against the algorithm thinking Indiana would do something better. Yeah, never listen to me. I guess listen to me about the links, but yeah, we got lucky there. I just said the Storm can lose a game, and they did. So that happened. The Liberty, this is the only game that projected very well from last year. Liberty were supposed to win 88 to 80. They went 85 to 80. So that worked out very well. And the Aces game is Mercury held, held with them a little longer than we thought. Also an amazing prediction. Wow. Wow. Those are some amazing predictions for those top two games, I got to admit. So that was good, but we had a mess down below. But everything's going to change once we get uh, stats for the current season in there and everything. So, you know, you, we have, we're just guessing. We're throwing darts right now. So let's throw some darts here on, uh, on Wednesday night. So we've got the sky and the wings. Everybody's at 100% health. Okay. I know that Jordan Canada went to the dream, which makes me like the dream. She went from the Sparks to the dream. She's my favorite WNBA player. She's got Michael Jordan, half of her name in her name. His name and her name. You heard me. That's right. Jordan. She's got Jordan and the country of Canada. I mean, it's like pick your best NBA player, pick your best hockey country. That's her name. That's why I'm a fan. She's got a good name. So she's playing for the dream. What are we doing? What's going on here? First of all, what the hell is this? Why do we have the sky? Oh, our margins are all screwed up. That's why we need to resort. More sort options descending by margin, everybody. This is the correct order. It's Dream Wing Sky and Sparks. So Jordan Canada is minus 225. Is she good enough to take? No Notice this margin's not good. Compared to the margins of yesterday, look at how low these games are. These are the bottom tier of games compared to all the games. So the most distorted games were in day one. These games are both supposed to, supposed to be really close. What does that mean? It means that the Dallas Wings should not be minus 430, everybody. It means the sky, sh this should be like minus 150 and plus 125, not minus 430 and plus 370. So this is one of those where the algorithm is calling something out dramatically. It's saying that the minus 225 for the dream is actually kind of reasonable. Like if you look at the order of lines here, I'm like, yeah, it's actually kind of in the right place. Like maybe we think it should be a little bit less even, like minus 200, or minus 180. But it's 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 at least in line, and it's so there's not a lot of value there because the margin's still kind of close. But this game is a different story. So, do you take the sky plus eight and a half, or do you take the sky to win? Because this is insane. On a straight bet, I think you do have to put a little bit on the sky to win, just because it's a two it's it's a toss up game, folks. Like one of the teams is three seventy. Do you take the team that's three seventy in a toss up game? Why not? Try it. Um. And you can also take them plus eight and a half because they're apparently supposed to cover that. I don't know what the drafting situation was. Who's new? We could try to dig through here and see if I recognize any of these names. Uh, wait a minute. What happened with projections? Are we, are we all screwed up? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Player stats. Hold on a second. Do we not have players in here? These are very few players. What's going on? I'm confused. Like there are more than there are more than four players, and why do they have no ranking? Something is wrong. People are out for season. Is that is that going on? Something's wrong. Um, where are all, all of our players? Well, let's answer that question. We'll diagnose this and I'll be done with the video. So what's going on here? is stream team injury we're using the player stat database correct which would be this tab everybody's in here everybody's playing these are just projections and not points we're missing a lot of teams here for some reason but i don't think that's the issue maybe we just don't have enough players in here 
All right, these I'm not going to worry about it. Like, there's something wrong with the projections, and it's not the full roster. That's okay right now because the player points are not actually being worked into the projection. They're just showing us health numbers. So our health numbers are kind of sketchy, and we don't know. Maybe somebody's out on the sky that we don't know about. That that could be a problem. I would say go do some more research, even more than the algorithm in this game. But it's uh, first game of the season and anything can happen anyway. So really nothing should be a pick of the day yet because we just don't know what's happening yet. We'll know more tomorrow after these games occur. But in terms of just, if you want to flip a coin, you get paid almost four to one on the Chicago sky. You may as well take them because they're probably going to win one out of four times against the wings. All right. So that's the update. I got to run. Good luck. May all your picks be winning. And I mean, a nice night of hockey starting at what eight o'clock um we'll see if colorado can fight him out you know it's going to be a dog fight so good luck mail your picks be winning